Hi guys, this is Monkeys Nuts Con. This is just going to be a little talk about, um, well, it's going to be about basically the driving standards in the UK compared to other countries. I mean, the majority of people who are, who have um, been on the internet have probably seen um, Russian dash cam videos. A lot of you, it most often crashes in winter and things, um, and people in Russia just having much poorer standards than of driving than in this country. Um, I haven't witnessed firsthand sort of like whether or not there is a difference in the standards or whether or not people in in Russia just have more more cameras. Uh, but uh, from from the videos that I've seen, I wouldn't like to drive in in uh, in Russia. Uh, I mean, it might be might be similar in different countries. Um, in uh, there's quite a few people in um, in America who uh, who have dash cams. Um, I don't know whether or not it's uh, any different in Russia, in uh, in America though. In America, I think they get off easy really, because they have really nice wide roads. Um, the laws in America are quite a bit more strict than they are in the UK in terms of um, traffic uh, violations and things like that, breaking rules. Um, the police can come down quite hard on you if you make a little mistake um, compared to in this country where they, they just won't batter an eyelid really. One thing I don't quite understand with um, the American law is uh, jaywalkers, people who cross a road not at a crossing. Um, we have them do it all the time in, in the UK but I think that's partly because our streets are quite narrow so they allow you basically to, to be able to cross the road um, in relative safety. But I've never really understand, understood why why America has had this law. And I don't even know why it's called jaywalking. Is jay meant to be for uh, juvenile or something? Or I'm not quite sure what the J means. Um, it's just an odd little law, really. I mean, if if I went to America with my family on holiday or something, I'm sure there would be at least one time where we would cross the road not at a junction, because it um, not at uh, at a uh, at a crossing, because it means often on some roads walking quite a distance to get to a crossing. Um, I've seen quite a lot in this country, though, in the UK, people crossing the road right beside the crossing, uh, an actual crossing where they're meant to, where they should be allowed to cross. Which, which is something that I've never really understood. I mean, if there's like a zebra crossing or a traffic signal crossing, just walk there and then cross instead of walking directly beside it. Um, it doesn't cause cause anyone really any 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 crap. It just it just sort of bewilders the mind really because at a, a proper crossing you've got a bit more security in terms of people are going to expect you to cross there. Um, in Russia, there's quite a lot of people tend to pop out between parked vehicles and uh, and do quite silly things like that really, just run across the road without looking. Um, they have quite a lot of zebra crossing in, in Russia which, as far as I know, the rules are exactly the same as the UK. 
about zebra crossings, um, you give way to someone who's waiting to cross. It's basically what you're meant to do. In Russia though, they tend to just ignore that and just go hurtling through even when there's someone all of the, already on the crossing. Which is just really odd. Um, so, yeah, like I say, I, I'm not too keen on the experience of driving in Russia just in case something did happen because I've seen in, in videos people having sort of like minor bumps and actually continuing to drive and not even bothering to, to um, exchange details or anything. Um, I don't even know if in, a, in Russia they have car insurance or if, if the, the law is so strict as to require you to have it. Um, in Russia they just seem to be so hardcore really. I mean, I've seen quite a few little fights and things and minor, really, really minor things happening on the road, like someone just cutting you up or something. Um, it's just really peculiar, really. Um, but in terms of the standards, if anyone out there can, can explain it, whether or not the Russian driving test is as strict as the UK one. I mean, I know for a fact that the American driving test is nowhere near as strict as um, the UK. I mean, you can you can learn to drive at 16 in in, uh, in America, and you can only learn to drive at 16 in in the UK if you've got um, a, a a major di disability or something which or some kind of disability which requires you to drive um, at 16. Um, so yeah, the they asked uh, the rule, um, the government are talking about extending the UK driving test. So instead of it being 45 minutes, it's going to be 60 minutes. Um, and I think they're going to be adding more questions into the uh, into the theory, and they want you to have more experience before you actually take your test as well. Um, I think they're asking for a minimum of I think it's forty or fifty hours, um, and I think it might possibly be. Uh, a year's compulsory training, which uh, I don't really agree with really because I passed in three, four months. Um, there were people who passed quicker than that and people who passed much slower than that. It all depends on the actual person uh, because I don't think a year of training, yes it will, Yes, it will probably improve your um, your skill level, but I don't really I don't agree with everyone having to do that. Um, I think it should you should be tested really regularly throughout, and then sort of like having minor tests. And if if that test test uh, proves um, promising, then you could go in for the proper test. Um, God, he's got big hair. Basically, what I think should happen with the driving test is, is a lot of mock tests regularly throughout, which is what you would do with your instructor anyway. I just think you should have more, more professional mock tests. Um, I'm not too keen on, well, the improvements, well, they call them improvements, that they're hoping to make on the test, really. I'm, I'm not too keen on them. That's why I'm glad that I've passed my driving test when I have. 
just before it got really expensive um, because of certain laws and things um, pushing up the prices of lessons it's causing more and more driving um, tutors to actually have to sort of like quit the job because they just can't afford to to run the car and they're not just getting they're not getting the, um, the pupils because more and more people are putting off learning to drive because of the cost So yeah, if there's anyone out there who actually knows what the Russian driving test is like, uh, whether or not it's strict or not, any tests that you need to go through, just just comment in the comments. Just sort of like try and try and give us all a bit of more of a perspective on as to why the standards in, in Russia seem to be much lower than uh, than in the UK and Russia. Um, uh, sorry, in the UK and um, America. Um, I'm only really talking about Russia because the majority of people there have dash cams installed in the car uh, because there's been quite a lot of insurance scams and things like that where people have cut you up and then immediately braked to try and make it look your fault. Um, because in, well, in the UK anyway, if a vehicle is rear-ended, the car behind is automatically at fault. Um, and then you've just got to prove otherwise, really. Um, it's one of the difficulties, really, because if you've got a camera in your car, you can prove to a certain extent that you weren't at fault. Um, it's just whether or not people are willing to do that. Because in the UK, uh, with regards to cameras, it's a mixed view really. Some people agree with them, some people don't. I personally agree with them because a camera tells you the facts, they don't lie, they can't, well they can be sort of edited to, to take things out, but if you're involved in a crash or anything, the police would request the raw file off the device that you're using. Um, that's to prove that it hasn't been tampered with or anything, and a raw file can actually be used in court as evidence. Um, so if the police do say, well, you need like a witness or something who's, who's actually seen the crash and you've got a camera in your car anyone who watches the video is technically a witness it just depends on the quality of the video really and what it's actually caught um, I mean in all honesty I would love to have a rear facing camera but um it's just the logistics of getting it in my car and it wouldn't really fit to be honest. I've tried a new camera setup which which I posted and the camera quality was not what I expected it to be. I, I thought it would be a lot better. Um, so I returned those two cameras. Um, just because I, I don't... They claim to be 1080p which clearly they were not. So I just, I just decided really to knock that idea on the head. So I only really intended this to be a short vlog um, about cameras and such. Um, not really much else I, I want to talk about. Um, All I would say is that if anyone else is out there has actually had sort of like first hand experience of driving in Russia, just, just comment or something or or maybe if someone's watching this and they live in a, um, in a country where the driving standards are not really up to standard, um, just comment and explain really. 
explain your perspective of, of, uh, on things or maybe your opinions on this subject. Um, I mean, it varies depending on where you are in the country, I suppose. I mean, here in North Wales, I, we d I don't really get that many bad drivers or anything. The standards are normal, really. Um, we do get the few, uh, the odd stupid person who, try, who puts everyone's lives at risk. Um, but they're normally high or something. Com well, yeah, compared to, um, say, London or, or somewhere like that, it's, um, it's a lot different. Because, uh, well, in London, it's very congested. Um, there's there's a lot of basically conf basic basically there's a lot of conflictions and anger and stress in uh, in London. So I think it's in any city it's like that. So it, it's expected that driving standards will be a little bit lower. Um, but uh, I mean, it's just. It just varies really from, from place to place, um, but I would say that overall, Russia is sort of like quite a bit worse than the uh, UK when it comes to driving standards. Uh, I wouldn't say, uh, I don't know that as a fact, I just know that from, what the, from the videos that I have seen, the crashes and road rage and things like that, People in Russia just don't really know how to drive properly. They uh, they just take too many chances. They dart out of the side of junctions. They um, they run red lights constantly. They don't really understand the term braking. Um, it's just it's not a really nice nice area when you end up seeing all these videos and things. So So uh, yeah, that's all really I've got to got to talk about. This has been Monkeys Nuts Com, um, and I'll catch you next time.